going on? I'm super excited for this video because we are talking about hair growth, which happens to be one of my favorite topics, and I bet it's probably one of your favorite topics too, you know? So, but in this video, we are gonna be talking about some hair growth hacks, some things that aren't really talked about on this platform that you need to know when it comes to growing your hair. So, stay tuned. Really quick disclaimer, a very important prerequisite when it comes to growing our hair, ladies and gents, is having a consistent hair care regimen. Keeping up with your wash days, moisturization, sealing, deep conditioner, all of those things encompasses healthy hair. Now let's get into the hacks. Okay, so number one is going to be the circadian clock. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about, some of you guys have no clue what I'm talking about. The circadian clock is a biological rhythm that our body has, meaning certain times of the the day, certain times of the night, our body is more active. So there's an increase in certain cellular activities. There's an increase in certain cellular regeneration. So there's things taking place depending on the time of day and time of night. For example, you ever notice how certain skin creams and moisturizers and masks are recommended to be put on at night before you go to bed? That's because your body is very active while you're sleeping. And they actually can perform, products can sometimes perform a lot better over the nighttime versus during the daytime. Our body's amazing, okay, I'm just saying that. Now, I thought this is interesting to share because I want you guys to know the best time to apply your hair growth oil or serum, okay? So when it comes to the circadian clock for our hair, research has shown that at night, there is an increased amount of keratinocytes that are active in our scalp. Keratinocytes are cells that help to produce keratin within our hair, but they also help to regulate hair growth. On top of that, in the morning time, there is a mitotic peak. Now, mitotic processes is where there are cell divisions that create biological process that allows our bodies to thrive. So when it comes to our scalp and the follicles within our scalp, the mitotic peak is really in the morning time, which is so interesting. So with that being said, the best time to apply your hair with oil or serum is gonna be at night before you go to bed. Because what's gonna happen is while you're sleeping, those oils have a chance to penetrate deep within the scalp. And by the morning time, those oils are already in the scalp actually help to assist that mitotic peak. While it's working, it already has the oils to kind of help accelerate that work that's taking place within your scalp. Okay, now the second hack is going to be surrounding terpenes. If you've seen my video, the hair growth protein that you need, you know what I'm about to say. If you haven't watched it, I'll have the link below for you to check out. But you want to make sure that the hair growth serum or oil, particularly oils that you're looking for, you wanna look for essential oils that have a high amount of terpenes. So essential oils that have a high amount of terpenes tend to be things like rosemary, eucalyptus, peppermint, things like that. Unfortunately, a lot of things that you think are penetrable when it comes to our scalp and even our skin really do not penetrate. They literally just stay on the top surface. They don't really get down to the blood vessels where they need to be to be active so we can see the growth that we want to see. But terpenes, however, what they do is they actually loosen the hydrogen bonds on our scalp, which allows these great benefits of oils and extracts to go deep within our skin to actually work. So look for essential oils that are high in terpenes like the ones I just listed. And for more information on this topic, definitely check out the hair growth protein that you need. Link will be below. Okay, and the last hack is going to be focusing on understanding the ingredient list, the location of these oils and extracts they matter. So when you're looking for something, of course you can see the ingredient list, but you won't be able to see the actual formula, but you will see where these ingredients are. Now here's an example of a not so great hair growth oil. So you notice how at the top there's a bunch of carrier oils, and carrier oils really are more so designed to protect the hair. They stay on the surface of the hair, and they don't really assist in hair growth. Now they can help with lymph retention of the growth that you're getting, but they're not actually activating or stimulating the scalp. But notice at the bottom, there are so many great essential oils down there. Those are the guys that are going to help to stimulate the scalp to really enhance the growth that you wanna see. So quick hack I will say is anything after vitamin E, 
just know that more than likely it's in there at a very, very small amount, especially anything after a preservative, you know for a fact it's gonna be in there at a very teeny tiny amount, not an efficacious amount at all. But on the flip side, here is an example of a hair growth oil that is more ideal when it comes to the ingredient list. Notice how at the top, there are some carrier oils, of course, because carrier oils act as the vehicle that holds these essential oils. However, you see how there is a decent amount of essential oil towards the top and even in the middle of the ingredient list. That's a great way to know that these oils are in there at a very efficacious amount that you're gonna be able to see some results with. Also, when it comes to water-based hair growth serums, you're gonna get more extracts towards the top or in the middle, whereas hair growth oils are gonna be oil-based, so it's gonna have more essential oils either towards the top or towards the middle of the ingredient list. All right, guys, so this concludes this video. If you guys enjoyed it and learned something new, of course, I have a question for you. What's the craziest thing that you have done pertaining to your hair? I will go ahead and go first. The craziest thing I think I've done so far is put um, <laughs> Monostat vaginal cream on my hair, or on my scalp, I should say, because someone told me that you can put Monostat on your scalp and it'll grow your hair. It didn't work for me, but hey, okay? So I spilled my beans, I was vulnerable, now it's your turn. Comment below, I look forward to joining the conversation with you. Thank you guys for subscribing to this channel, liking this video, and commenting below. If you have not got your copy of the Curly Girls Got to Hair Care Ingredients, I'll have a link below for you to go ahead and grab your copy. And if you're interested in starting a hair care line, you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'll have a link below for you as well. All right guys, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.